Hey guys, I'm out at the cellar hole today. The ground is finally thawed out. So this is my first cellar hole hunt with an ox. Uh, I'm running the 600. Anyway, I had a signal here and I mean, I've dug so much iron and then I just changed my settings and I got this tone. I, I dug it out and put it over here. I see the edge of something, but And it was on edge, and that's why it sounded like that. See where it's jumpy and everything? I wasn't even sure if that was a coin. I'm still learning this machine. So, it looks like a big copper rim. Yeah, that's a copper. It's almost May. Oh, it's really thick, so it's probably a U.S. Anyway, it's almost May. And it's freezing out. Mm. No, I don't know about that one. Unless it's a KG1. It has a weird rim around it, so I'm not right. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. There's the, uh, the one cent side. They usually come out better than this. I'll give it a quick clean, show you what I got. Okay, it looks like a matron. That's the best I can get that side. And I didn't really do much with this yet. But you can tell that's what it is. It's a US large scent. So cool, we're on the board. So now that I know what those signals sound like and uh, a few lower tones that I got to, uh, which ended up being junk, but I'll, uh, I'll start filming now. Stay tuned. Okay, so I, I didn't really find anything else. I found a, one flat button, but I'm standing in the cellar hole and I'm just trying to get a grasp of this. I mean, you hear people talking about L-shaped cellar holes. But, I mean, you can see I'm standing right in it, and it runs this way. You can see the bank up there with all the rock and the brick. But over here, there looks like another one. I don't know if that's a barn or this was just a root cellar or what. Because the reason that it confuses me is because we have this section that runs right along here that separates the two. So I, I don't really understand what was going on. Um, however, I do think that this is uh, either newer or somebody built over the existing cellar. Um, and I think by newer, I mean probably mid to maybe 1850 to 1875-ish that they lived here because there's still a few things that I'm finding that uh, kind of indicate that but anyway that's the part of the wall there's an old shovel it's pretty thin not much left of that so anyway another piece of metal there's a top to think a stove or a pot it's got writing on the bottom of it but I can't tell oh maybe it's not writing at all oh here's something else I think I mentioned this to you guys in another video see uh, that little guy right there that worm. They will bore right into your skin. I think I did mention that before. But you have to be careful of those. There's another piece of a stove. So I guess it's fair to say maybe. Another piece of stove there. Fair to say that this 
was the house with maybe a center stack here and an outbuilding here. The strong side seems to be up here with maybe a side yard. And then when we come up here, it kind of levels off into a field. But in behind this big apple tree, there's another good indication that you've got an old site. Those big shells, they used to eat those. And there's the well. So, that's all filled in. But I, I think this was probably facing the water. I'll show you why. And this guy, I believe, either made ships or sails. Because we found a lot of old, old grommets. Let's see if I can find a decent way to get in here. There's another one of those shells down there. Sorry, it's really thick through here. But I just want to give you an idea of what might have been going on here. So, as you can see, we have, I don't know, I think that's pretty sinky down in there, so I'm not going to step down there. But there's a stream that runs through and empties out into the bay. So, possibly a mill site. And interestingly enough, if I get down here and look, you can see... There's another apple orchard over there. This whole ginormous piece of land is one big apple orchard. It's unbelievable. Wait till you see the size of their backyard apple orchard. Or side yard. Whatever this is, I can't figure it out. It's one of the only cellars I can't figure out. I'd love to be able to find some bottles down that little creek. Maybe we'll take a look. So this is the back orchard and this thing goes probably a quarter of a mile back then hooks on to another orchard so i'm just going to look down in the creek see if i could see anything and uh, i'll come back if i do just thought i'd give you a little update on that coin it's braided hair 1842 so definitely they were living there a little bit longer than some of the other sellers around here so Going to hit and I'm just taking a break now and then I'm going to hit another one. Uh, I've still got another two hours before I have to be to work, so hopefully we get something. Okay, I moved back up to my favorite cellar hole. Pounded to death. We've been here so many times. And uh, with the knocks, I got a repeatable signal. And right there, it looks like a button. But look at the stuff that comes out. So anywhere you dig, you get this nice pottery. There's tons of it everywhere. But yeah, that looks like a button to me. Wait till you see the gold gilt on the back of this thing. <clears throat> it's beautiful. Look at that. Some gilt on the front. And lots on the back. So it was sitting like that. Cool. Well, I guess the Nox has really uh, proven itself. Let's see what else we can get from here. Okay, right here, I've got... It sounds good. So, <clears throat> I don't have my... I have my headphones in, so you won't be able to hear it, but... Double tapping too, so it's not, maybe it's on edge. It's a good copper tone. So uh, I'll put, uh, I'll just mark. Mark it. Oh yeah, 24, 26. 
All right, let's live dig it. I had to walk darn near, I guess, half a mile or so. To, more than that, actually. Probably a full mile to uh, get my shovel. It didn't sound all that deep. Sorry, I'm pointing in the... Oh, it's right down in here. Sorry, I'm... I'm on a hill, it goes way down behind me. So it's just under the surface. Please be a copper. Yep, there's the edge. So let me turn this thing off. And we'll see what we got. Hmm, it's an 1812. We can clearly see that, so. It's gonna be one of those penny tokens. I'm gonna clean it up and show you after. Cool. Okay, this next one came from way down in there. I'll show you the pinpointer. Flush to the ground. And I think I got silver. Not a coin, though. It looks like a silver thimble, right there. Oh, it's mashed, but it's still a silver thimble. I'll clean it up and see if I can get any hallmarks off of it. Be right back. All right, there it is in all its ugliness. It's still silver. And it's still old. This is an old site. That one's seen better days. Hey, silver, silver. Nice pattern. I have about 25 minutes left. So I'm going to get at her. Alright, I'm going to leave this place. I hate to, but I have to get to work. Uh, I didn't get anything else after the silver thimble, uh, but managed, yeah, a couple of buttons and uh, a copper. So, yeah, there, we did all right. I love this place, though, man. Just look at it. Like, it's it's so amazing. It's huge apple trees and orchard, a nice valley down there. What a perfect spot for a house. Anyway. I got uh, an hour and a half, no, I guess I'll be to work like in a few hours, but uh, my e-cig decided it was going to fire in my bag, even though it was turned off and melted it and yeah, it's screwed. So I'm vapeless. I guess I'm going to have to chew a lot of gum. Anyway, I'm going to make my, my tracks out of here. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.